Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four legs scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, as you can see, there's another post. Uh, someone sent me, they screenshot it and sent it to me. And um, I've been getting a lot of information. And I know it's through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because the scriptures say, before things spring up, I tell you of them. All right, so here's a post. As you can see, it says, "What? when the fuck did we get doors on the, on the Lincoln Tunnel? A lot of bullshit happening. A lot of bullshit happened since the virus started. And you see there a little sturdy door, you know, that uh, blocks you from entering the Lincoln Tunnel or even coming out. Either going in or going out, you can't get through. And um, this just shows you, you know, what they're preparing for. You know, as the prophets, the men of the Lord have been, been warning you, been telling you for years, all right, that America is coming to an end. And, um, you know, let me show another picture there for the other side. You know, look at that door. I've never seen that door when we went, when we go to New York, you know. I don't know if brothers in New York knew about the door, you know, that, that's in and out of New York every other day or whatever. But this is news to me. You know, and I guess it's news to this guy who posted this. All right. Um, another thing too, they are uh, talking about closing the schools down for two weeks. What's the purpose of closing the school down for two weeks? They say in the coronavirus, but really, when you're sitting like that and you're out of school and people out of jobs and got to stay home, what you think they're doing? They're gonna start rolling in those troops. All right. That's you being out of the way. So when they roll in their tanks and they roll in their troops and start stationing themselves in their positions, you know, hey, man, this is it, man. You know, Lord's willing, Lord's willing, this is it, I should say. We hope that it's it because we tired of this God forsaken wicked kingdom. All right. And Yahweh Shai did prophesize of these things. So we're in Bible prophecy, man. So, you know, I also want to make mention, uh, you know, to the brothers. Um, a member, Project Megiddo, red list, blue list, yellow list. The red list was when they come and uh, get you. If you on that red, if you on their red list, they come and get you before martial law. And if you on the blue list, they're searching for you while martial law has been declared. And if you on the yellow list, they just re-educate you. So remember, Project Blue, uh, no, uh, Project Megiddo. You know, just to keep in mind. All right, so um, you know that's it for this post. Let me just show it, show it one more time. There you go. Oops. There it is. All right, so I want to read a scripture here, which is Second Edges 15. And um, this whole chapter is bad and it's it's good, man. All right, it's right on. Right, it's prophecy. It's on the money. Um, this is Second Edges 15. And I want to start. Verse 11, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. You know, by reading this, you understand that this is not talking about ancient Egypt. This is talking about a modern day Egypt. And what is the modern day Egypt? America. All right. It's a place of bondage where the Israelites are in bondage again. You know, referring back to Deuteronomy 28 and 68. When the Lord said, you shall go into, uh, you shall not see your, your land anymore. You shall be served for bond men, all right, and bond women, all right? Anyway, it says, uh, but I will bring them with the mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. Because ultimately this land in which you call America, which is known as Babylon the Great, which means great confusion, it's going to be utterly destroyed. All right. Through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It says, Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plagues and the punishment that the Most High shall bring upon it. They that till the ground shall mourn, for their seed, for their seeds shall fell through the blasting in hell, and with a fearful constellation. Woe unto the world. And dumb that the well therein. And woe means death and destruction, man. Okay? 
Woe unto those who despise this truth. Woe unto those who misuse the prophets and scoff and scorn. You know, woe unto you, wicked men and wicked women. Anyway, it says, verse 15, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. All right, because if they go to quarantine and people and people can't leave their homes and they barely got food in their house and they outside trying to find food or get in certain places, it's going to be hell out here, man. You know, these are, Americans are not, you know, uh, that that um, humble to just, you know, be quiet. It's going to get ugly. OK, mm. it's going to get ugly, man. It says, for the sword in their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and in the course of their actions shall stand in their power. All right. Verse 17. A man shall desire to go into a city, and shall not be able. All right. So if you live in New York, you won't be able to get off that island. All right, and come to New Jersey. If you live in New Jersey, you won't be able to co go to uh, New York. You can see it right here. All right, look at this big ass door. You can't even ram that door with a truck to, to get through. <laughs> you know, look at this. So let me read that again. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. And that's what's approaching. All right. That's what's looming in the air. The spirit of fear. All right. Starting with this coronavirus. And then it's going to be the, the, the eyesight of seeing military in your in your local neighborhood. Walking house to house. You know, searching um every house for individuals who they looking for on their list. You know, these things is about to happen, man. Lord's willing. You know, if this thing keeps going the way it's going. You got to expect these things, man. We're in Bible prophecy. All right. It says, for because of the pride of the cities shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. A man shall not, men shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Behold, saith the most high, I will call together all the kings of the earth to reverence me which from which are from the rising of the sun from the south from the east all right that's it you know so i'm gonna just leave it at that i wanted to make it quick but um you see it man look at this so i hope you were edified just wanted to put that out there um want to give all praise to you how about you shy about shimmer kako dash double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone salutations to all the lords hopeful elect scattered abroad shalom